Hello everybody and welcome to this week's reading vlog. So currently it is 11 o'clock in the morning. Me and my family just finished opening up Christmas presents because today is Christmas Day. Happy or Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everybody watching this video. I hope you guys have a great one. And yeah, today's going to be a busy day. My presents are all over my bed so ignore the mess in the background. My, I have to clean up all my presents and get those put away for now and then help set up the house because my family is coming over a little bit later for Christmas dinner and to open some presents. So that's really, really fun. And yeah, I have a couple of videos to film this week. I actually have quite a few because I was sick all last week. If you guys saw last week's vlog, you would know that. I am going to do one of those what I got for Christmas videos on my other channel, my DIY channel, so I'll have that link down below. Uh, that's going to go up probably at the end of the week. I'm waiting for one more present to come in, and that's a camera that's coming in sometime, well, hopefully, before the new year. So that's happening, and then I have, like, five other videos to film, so hopefully I'll get those all up. But, yep, that's my update for now. I'm talking to you guys a little bit later. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. So it's now 4.30 in the afternoon, and today has been a pretty unproductive day. I had an eye doctor appointment, so if my pupils look dilated, that is why. I had that around 1 o'clock this afternoon. I came home, and I finished editing last week's vlog, and I am now waiting for that to import onto YouTube so I can make it live for you guys. And I was going to film, but I'm still not really feeling that well, and as much as I want to film, I don't know if I should wait a couple more days, but I don't know. Hopefully I'll get some filming done this week because I have like 20 film videos I want to film before the end of the year. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then I'm waiting to hear back from my cousin because we are supposed to go be going up to Barnes & Noble a little bit later. They actually had an eye doctor appointment as well today with the same eye doctor as I have. So that's really ironic. So I'm waiting for them to come pick me up and then we're going to head there get some good books. Even though I have like a gigantic pile of books that I got for Christmas which you guys will see either in a video on this channel in the next couple of days or I'll be up on my other channel linked down below in my what I got for Christmas video that I'm going to be doing over there. So you guys will see those sometime in the next week or two. So be on the lookout for that. I will link those videos down in the description bar when they go live. So that's my day and yeah so I'm going to wait for my cousin to come pick me up and then we're going to head up to Barnes Bowl. I might vlog while I'm in there, but I'm not sure. But either way, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good morning, bit. everybody. Happy Wednesday. So I completely forgot to update you guys last night, but I ended up spending most of the night at my cousin's house after we went shopping. We went to Barnes & Noble, and then we went to the mall, we went to Lush and Starbucks, and then went over her house for dinner, and then I came home and like fell asleep right away. So I completely forgot to update you guys, but I figured I would show you guys the books that I got. I'm sorry my voice is still a little scratchy because I've been sick all week. If you guys saw last week's vlog, then you know I was sick all last week, so that kind of sucks. But back into the books. So I got two books at Barnes & Noble last night. The first one of those is Force of Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow. This is an East Asian evil queen retelling, which is perfect because as you, most of you guys know, if you saw my NaNoWriMo vlogs, I uh, started in almost finished writing an evil queen retelling myself so hopefully this will be get a uh, good inspiration to get some more ideas to get my story flowing I guess so I'm really excited to pick this up and the other book I got at Burns and Noble was The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas yes I finally picked this up I've been meaning to pick this up all year because it's been on the New York best telling or best selling list for months and months and months now and I don't know why I didn't pick it up before. This is inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement and it follows a young girl who sees her best friend shot and killed by a white police officer and it's all about that so it's definitely interesting. I've heard mostly positive things about this book over the months since it has come out and all the hype kind of has died down a little bit. I've heard some mixed reviews, but for the most part, they're all positive, and obviously it's been a big hit this year, so I definitely want to see what all the hype is about, because I have a feeling this is going to make me cry my eyes out, but we'll see. I hopefully, I'm really hoping I enjoyed this book. 
And then I also got a couple of books in the mail that I figured I would throw in here. So the first one I got in the mail, I won in a giveaway that was hosted by Sophie over at All Things Equilateral. I will link her channel down below. Go check her out. But I won a giveaway that was for Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Now, if you guys have been following my channel for a long time, since the very beginning, you would know that I have read two books by Marissa Meyer in the past. I read Cinder, which is the book, first book in the Lunar Chronicles. I read that last year and did a full review of it. I'll link that down below. I DNF'd that book. I did not like it. And then I read Heartless earlier this year, I believe in April. And I didn't like that even more than I didn't like uh, Cinder. I had problems with both of those books, mostly with Heartless. But I really do want to give Marissa Meyer one last chance. This so this is her science fiction superhero story. So this is definitely different than her other books. It's not a retelling. So hopefully this will make up for what my negative reviews were for Cinder and Heartless. I'm hoping so. She sent me that and she also sent me a couple of other bookish things with the book. So she sent me um, this postcard for Nerdy Post, I believe. It says Nerdy Postcard and it has... I don't know what character this is, but he looks kind of like someone you might see in uh, Lord of the Rings, but I'm not sure. So she sent me that, and then she also sent me these little reminders. So if you like lend a book out to a friend, this is something that they can give. You can give them uh, to remind them to return it to you. So. They look like this. I remember seeing this in one of the book boxes recently. I can't remember which one. But I saw this and I laughed when I saw it in an unboxing. Again, I cannot remember off the top of my head what uh, book box it was. But I really like this. So thank you, Sophie. Again, her channel will be linked down below. And then the other book I got in the mail was a book I got from HMH. And this is a book called The Night Market. This is by Jonathan Moore. This is another thriller novel. I worked with HMH a few months ago to read the book The Dark Net by Benjamin Percy and I reviewed that on my blog. Again, the review will be linked down below. And I enjoyed that book for the most part and they wanted to work with me again to get me this book. So again, I'm not a huge thriller reader. Most of you guys know that, but I do want to read more. So they sent me this and it follows a man, his name is Ross, and he, it sounds like, I'm just reading the inside flap, um, he is a witness to a murder that has involved a dead man who was on the floor, obviously dead, and will explain this well covered in an unknown substance that's eating through his skin. So that's interesting and it kind of sounds like it has like a scientific side to it which the dark knit also had kind of an aspect of that so this I am definitely excited to pick this up. This is, will definitely be on my January TBR. This comes out on January 16th and I'll also have that linked down below so all the books mentioned in this week's blog will be linked down below. So this include the books I haul, the books I read, again everything is linked down below if you guys are interested in checking those out. So yeah that is my little mini haul. Today I want to finish writing my book. That's my goal for today. And then I, if I have time, I want to film some videos so I can get those up later this week. And that is my plans for today. So I'm going to go write and listen to my audiobook. And then I will try filming, but I'll probably update you guys in a few hours because I'll probably end up finishing the Bane Chronicles today because I only have like five hours left. So I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Okay, everybody, so I am back. It is currently quarter of five and I have a couple of packages to open. One of them is bookish, the other is not, so I'm actually going to start with the bookish one. So this is a book I got from an author, and this one sounds really interesting. It is an arc, so that's always fun. So the first thing I see in here, it looks almost like a little short story. So it's called 
Blue Ivy Carter, A Little Big Story. It was say, isn't this the uh, daughter of Beyonce? And this is by Tess McConan. I hope I said that right, but this is what it looks like. And I'm assuming it is a short story about Beyonce's daughter. Yep, that's Beyonce and Jay-Z on the cover, so that looks really interesting. And the book I got is called Happy Land, A Fairy Tale in Two Parts. And this is also by Tess McCohen and Anthony Resto. I apologize if I said either of those names wrong. So this is what it looks like. And it is a collection of fairy tales. So, it's very pretty. I love this cover. And it's pretty short. So I actually could probably read this in one sitting. And, let's see. Yeah, it's split up in tissue cards. So that's pretty cool. So that's what that looks like. And then I also got a little card about the author. So it tells a little bit about the author and their writing process. So thank you so much to the author for sending me that. Now the next package and my final package that I have to unbox is this one. And I'm very excited. And you guys will see why in a second. So last week, I talked at the end of last week's vlog about I was waiting for one of my Christmas presents to come in the mail. And this is what that present is. So, it's only a couple days late, but I, my dad had to order it, and I think it shipped out of state. Yeah, it shipped out of state. <laughs> so, it's a couple days late, but that's okay with me. And I'm so excited about this, because I've been in the mood for, or in the need for one of these for a while. So, my camera just flipped over. Okay. So, hold on guys, I will be right back. I'm just going to open this package. Okay, okay, so I'm back. I got my package open and oh, I'm so excited to show you guys what this is. I got a camera! So I got the Canon PowerShot X, SX610 HS. So this is going to be my new vlogging slash YouTube camera, which is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and open the box so I can show you guys what it looks like. And this did not come with an SD card, but I have one. I got one in my stocking for Christmas, so I'm going to set that all up after I open the box up. So, lots of stuff in here. So we have a manual guide, and then this is the, I'm assuming this is the return stuff, so if I need to return it, so that's what that is. And then we get to the nitty gritty stuff. So the first thing in here is the charger. Let me take it out of its bag. So here is the charger for the camera. So you just put your battery in there and it charges. And then we have the camera itself. So it looks like I have a little clip to attach to, oh it's a strap, this is the camera strap. That's what that is. And this is the battery itself. So, here's the battery. And last but not least is the camera. So, oh my gosh, it's, my dad got me a red one. So here is the camera. So like I said, it's red and it's so nice. So that's really, really cool. Yep, this is my very first camera I've ever had, guys. So if you have any tips and tricks on using a camera, let me know in the comments down below. I would truly appreciate it. So that's my camera. <laughs> How awesome is that? So, I thought I would include that little unboxing for you guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and go read, and I will talk to you guys a little bit later. 
All right, everybody, it's now quarter of eight, and I just finished uploading my What I Got for Christmas 2017 video on my other channel, so I'll have that link down below. That's now live on that channel, and that was really fun to do, so I'm really excited. I always wanted to do one of those videos, but now I'm going to go ahead and listen, or not listen to my audiobook, read a ebook in the bathtub. I did get some writing done today. I wrote about a thousand words. So I have about, I want to say 25% more to write in my book before it's completely done. So that's really cool. And I still have like four and a half hours left on my audiobook. So I really need to finish that. So that's it for now. I'll check in with you guys a little later. Happy Thursday, everybody. So it's currently quarter of three in the afternoon. And all morning, I pretty much have been doing nothing. Kind of what else is new. That seems to be the case with every update I do. But right now I'm going to go ahead and do some filming for the next few days. I have to do my December book haul and possibly my library haul for this month. And then I have to do my January TBR. I have like 20 videos to film, but I don't know how many I'm going to get done. But that's my update for now. I'll check in with you guys a little bit okay, later. Okay, everybody, I am back with another little quick update. I haven't really done any reading today. I've been mostly listening to my audiobook. I have about an hour and 45 minutes left on that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I've also been working on a lot of stuff today. I was filming earlier. I got two videos filmed today, which is pretty good. So one's going up tomorrow, one's going up on Monday. So that's all set and done. I'm going to film some more tomorrow because I have, like, <coughs> excuse me like 10 videos to film yeah it's a little ridiculous because I was sick all last week so that didn't help at all and yeah I'm gonna be editing those and then I'm going to be watching the Bruins game because we're playing again tonight we played last night and fun fact the Bruins are actually playing the same team as they were playing when I saw them live a couple weeks ago I mentioned that in the first vlog I did so that's pretty cool so that's what I'm gonna do for the next couple hours and I'll talk to you guys a little bit afterwards. Good morning everybody, happy Friday. So today I have literally been editing all day. So as most of you guys know, if you saw last week's vlog, I was very, very sick all last week. So I did not have time to film. Plus the holidays were on top of that, so that made it even worse. So for the next like week and a half, I'm going to be filming, 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 and more filming. I have two videos going up today, so today is Friday. I have my unhaul to do, and then I have my December book haul. And after those are done and uploaded, I'm going to have to film my library haul for December, and my 2017 favorite books, and then my least favorite books. It's just, I think I'm probably going to try to have a video go up every day for like the next week. So I'll have this going up on Monday when the vlogs usually go up, and then I'll have, you know, another video on top of that. So it's going to be a crazy couple of weeks just to catch up on the videos that I forgot to film or wasn't able to film, I should say, last week. But that's what I've been doing all morning. I did get to page 330 of The Book Thief. So far, I'm really, really enjoying it. Not as much as some other people have been, but I do really like it. And then I'm almost all done with the Bane Chronicles. I have about 45 minutes left on that. So that's pretty cool. That will be done by the end of today. I already know it. So that's what I've been doing all day. So I'm going to check in with you guys a little bit later when I actually have something else to update on. Okay everybody, it's now 4.30 and I, since I left you guys off, I continued editing for most of the day and then I uploaded the two videos that needed to go up today, so my unhaul and my December haul. I'll have those bit linked down below if you guys are interested in checking those out. Those went up earlier, and then I filmed two more videos, and those are going to be going up on Monday, I think. I might upload one tomorrow, but I'm not sure. I think they're going to go up on Monday, though. And then I had to write a blog post, and then... I finished The Bane Chronicles, and I gave it four stars, much better than any of the other Shadowhunter books I've read, besides The Infernal Devices. That's probably my, f The Bane Chronicles is probably my favorite book so far as I've read by Cassandra Clare. So, I finished that, and now I am listening to Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell on audio. I'm only like an hour into it, it's okay so far, but 
it's only an hour in, so it's going to get better, hopefully, as the course of the book goes on. So that's my update for now, and I'll check in with you guys a little bit. Good morning, but happy Saturday. So it's actually currently 2 in the afternoon. I haven't vlogged all day. I have been continuing editing like I was for the most of the day yesterday, and i also been trying to decide, do I want to do one video for the next few days so I can catch up on the videos that I forgot or was able to film when I was sick last week or do I want to do it two videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday which is my normal uploading schedule usually I don't know I'm trying to figure that out right now but I didn't update you guys last night I did end up finishing the book Thief by Marcus Zizak I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars I really did enjoy it the only reason I deducted half a star was because actually there's a couple of reasons I thought that it was a little bit too slow for me and also everybody seems to read this and they say they cried at the end. I didn't cry. I don't usually cry in books but I was expecting to cry at the end of this but I didn't so that's why I deducted that half star but I really did enjoy it and I do recommend you guys pick this up if you haven't already. So then I moved on to the last book on the top 10 books I wanted to read in 2017 video, The Book Thief was actually the other one that I needed to read, and the book I'm reading now is The Trials of Paul, book 1, The Hidden Oracle by Rick Riordan, and I'm on page, I didn't get very far, I'm on page 40, last, that's how far I got into it last night. This is hysterical, oh my gosh, you guys know I love Rick Riordan, I've read pretty much every single book that has been published as of right now. I've read the entire Percy Jackson series, the entire Heroes of Olympus series, the entire King Chronicles. I'm working through the Trials of Apollo, obviously. I'm also working through Magnus Chase right now. And I am loving this book. Of course, I'm only 40 pages in, so my opinion could change, but at this point, I'm not expecting it to. So that is what I'm currently reading. I also picked up on ebook, I think it's called The Truth About Love, and that is by Anna Bloom. I actually got that as an ARC last year it came out in january so i'm way behind on that uh that's a really quick it's like almost like a novella it's only like 100 or so pages i'm reading it on my kindle and it's okay it's new adult it's romance a lot of insta love but it's okay so far it's probably gonna be about a three star read but we'll see but yeah that's my update for now i'm gonna go continue editing and figure out what the hell i'm gonna do with my videos this week and i'll talk to you guys a little bit hey everybody so i am back it's been about an hour since i last heard of you guys and i figured i was gonna do an unboxing of this but my camera which is my phone as of right now next week probably next week's vlog i'll switch over to my actual camera um it I have a little pop socket, which is one of those little stands that is you put on the back of your phone. It's supposed to give you a better grip. I'm pretty sure you guys, most of you guys probably know what it is. Everybody uses one these days, it seems like. Um, I had it on my computer holding it up so I could film me unboxing my tripod that I just got in the mail. And it fell off. Don't worry, my screen's not broken or anything, thank goodness. But I wasn't able to keep the footage. So... I'll just show you guys what the tripod looks like now. So this is the bag it came in. It comes with a little carrying strap. And then I opened it up and just gonna hold this. There we go. This is what it looks like. It's got like a nice bronzy gold color to it. And then it's just a basic tripod. It's the Amazon Basics tripod. I believe that's what it's called. So yeah. That I get to show you guys that. So that's it for now. See you guys in a little bit. Okay, everybody. So it is Monday. I did not vlog yesterday because it was New Year's Eve and I wanted to pretty much spend the entire day with family and friends. So I apologize for that, but I hope you guys had a very fantastic end of 2017 and a very happy beginning of 2018. And I hope you guys got to spend time with your family and friends last night to celebrate the new year. So I'm going to go ahead and end this week's vlog here. So at the end of this week, I managed to finish two books. I managed to finish The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, which I gave a 4.5 out of 5 stars. And I finished The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Brennan, and Maureen Johnson on audiobook, which I gave a 4 out of 5 stars. And then I also started four other books. Yes, four. I started I Am a Small God by A.J. Dalton, which I got for a review from the author. 
I started The Trials of All Book 1, The Hidden Oracle by Rick Riordan. I started Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell on audio, which I'm about two and a half hours into. And I have one last review book, which I am currently reading, which is called Sinland Ascends, and this is by Josiah Bancroft. Oh, I did forget one book that I also finished. I finished straight read three books, not two. That was The Truth About Love by Anna Bloom, which I gave it three out of five stars. So that is everything I read this week and everything I am currently reading. So that is where I'm going to end this week's vlog, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure I have all the books I read this week down below if you are interested in checking those out, along with all my social media links. So those include my Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and my blog. Again, those are always linked down below. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy New Year!